Hello everybody and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about this super complicated looking texture switcher in nodes, but in reality it's not actually as complicated as it looks. It's pretty simple as you can probably already tell. There's just a few nodes being repeated over and over. But first off let me explain what it actually does. So as you can see, oops, let's not zoom in like that. Um, you can see this uh, model of Abby. Uh, which first off I want to thank uh, OXO Potion for releasing the model for free. Uh, I will leave the download link for her model or his model. I don't know who it, I don't know the identity of the person, um, but um, I made a little uh, texture switcher, and, a, and on top of that, I also made a little color switcher as well. And the color switcher I'm going to explain first, just because it's the most simple part. So these are group notes here. Uh, when I press Tab, I can open them up. Basically, this color gets wired in to this hue node and the saturation node. And as you can probably see how they're connected here, basically the color gets plugged into the bottom of the hue, the bottom of the saturation, and the texture gets plugged into the top of the hue, and then the output of this hue gets plugged into the top of the saturation, and then this finally gets plugged into the base color. Basically, it just changes the color from this default green, which came with the model, uh, to whatever color I want by putting the color in here. There's actually probably a better way I can do this by adding by adding in a value, but that would also change the eyebrow color to like white if I had it too bright. So I'm not going to do that. And uh, finally, the meat of the video is going to be this slider right here, which uh, very complicated as you can see. Uh, basically, as I move the slider up, my computer lags because there's so many textures connected to it. But on top of that, it changes the texture. So I have, I believe it was 14, right? Yes, I have 15 textures actually, because zero is a number that is plugged in here. So I have 15 textures, and I can change to whichever one I want this slider. And actually, I can click I, and I can create keyframes, so I could actually animate this. So if I wanted my character to blink, I can keyframe some blinking animations. So Let's make this all from scratch. Get rid of all that beautiful node work. And let's uh, start fresh with the principal shader. And you'll see I hold down control a lot just because I like having my nodes very like, I, I have like a, a little system. So I'm gonna plug in a texture here. I'm gonna get the idle texture. There you go, eyes idle. I have a little system where I, I, I kinda like to keep the uh, nodes uh, two spaces apart uh, in the x-axis and then the y-axis I don't really care so I'm gonna add a well, transparent shader just because I want some transparency and then I held down alt and right clicked to get a mix shader that's because I have node wrangler it comes with blender you can download it or you can turn it on it's already downloaded and uh, or you could just add a mix shader uh, by going right here but this is more fun I like holding down alt and doing that so, with those connected, I uh, will plug the alpha into here. If your texture doesn't have alpha, you can get rid of these two and just plug it directly into the surface. Uh, so there we go. So now we have our first texture, and we are going to turn this into a group. And there we go. So now we have a group, and we just plug this in directly. So now this texture, whatever texture I have on here, which is idle, so these are the idle eyes. Why did I zoom out so far? There we go. So let's uh, let's get another texture because we want to be able to switch between multiples, right? So get, there we go. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's create a new texture. Oh, almost made a mistake there. Um, these two group nodes are connected uh, through time and space. So basically, if I change this texture to eyes closed. It also changes this texture, which is not what we want at all. So I'm going to change that back to idle. Where the heck is idle? There it is. So many textures, it's hard to keep track. So we click this little 2 right here, and basically uh, they'll turn this into a whole new group, completely disconnected from this guy. This guy, we don't care about this guy anymore. He's out of here. Uh, now this, we will call blink, believe it or not, because we, we're going to make this a uh, blink texture. Nope. That's eyes closed. Is eyes closed? No, we want blink. The blink and closed are two entirely different things, at least texture-wise. So let's plug this in here to see if it works. It works. Totally works. 
let's just make a few more just because it's going to make it easier when I uh, actually no we'll make more later let's get into the to the real stuff so now another mix shader and you will see why because oops I drag the slider back and forth look at that my character is blinking and I will kind of explain why this is a bad way to do this in just a bit uh, so we are going to actually add a third texture and this one oops a little too. So let's uh, what should we do? Eyes fear. Yeah, let's do fear. Put the fear in her. Okay. So we're gonna add another mix shader. Put it right below this one. Uh, plug the fear into the bottom. Plug the mix shader into the top. And make this shader plug into the surface. Now when I move this value node, you can see it switches between these two textures between whatever is in here and the fear texture and this is all fine and dandy until you want to start um, animating this so you're gonna have to add a lot of keyframes because if you want this blink texture here and you the last texture you had on was this fear texture you're gonna have to turn this texture down make a keyframe of that then turn this texture up make a keyframe of that and if your node tree is like crazy and you have like 15 textures, you're going to have to move 15 sliders at, when you want to do like one keyframe for going back to idle. So we don't want to do that. We're going to make a universal uh, slider that will just change textures, you know, with your mind because you're just amazing like that. So first off, we're going to want to get a math node. I'm not even going to bother looking for it. Uh, so there we are beautiful little math node he will become your best friend uh, in just a second so we're gonna wanna set this to greater than and what greater than will do is uh, basically if this value is greater than this bottom value then it will equal one simple as that if it's not greater than this value it will equal zero so basically what we just made here is a little boolean operator so ah, sorry kind of itchy there we go so boolean operator here so this is actually very useful because what we can do is set this bottom value to something very very close to one without being one like 0 0.99 so there we go and um, now I will show you why we did that. So if we take the value node, which is down here, plug that into this top thing here, and then we plug our math node into the top here. Let's just plug this in here for this, for simplicity stake, sake, not stake. I'm not that hungry, am I? Um, so when I move this value node between zero and one, you can see it. It doesn't have like that gradual change either. It is nothing 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 you know idle texture and then as soon as it hits one it goes to the, to the other texture which is another added plus of using the greater than uh, node is that there's no in between so you don't have this weird I'll show you what I'm talking about when you have this in between it's like you don't want to accidentally render out that you know with the in betweens so this kind of helps avoid that and another thing I'm just gonna do this now because uh, it annoys me and it might annoy you guys too but this is not a slider. This is just a value that you turn all the way up to, you know, 100 trillion. That might be 100 trillion. I don't know. Um, but we don't want that. So what I'm going to do is uh, something quite clever. It's not that clever. But I feel like it's clever. So I'm going to get a... What is something with a shader, with a value slider? There we go. So the mix shader has a little value slider here, which is super nifty. So if we just make this a group just by itself, let's connect all of this crap. Now I'm just going to delete all these little inputs and outputs. Okay. So now we have a group shader that does nothing. This is the most useless group shader in the world. But if I connect this slider here, now this group shader has a slider. Okay. I'm, I think you guys might see where I'm going with this. So now I plug this into this little node socket. And now, this value will control this whole plug right here, which will be plugged into the top here. Why didn't that work? There we go. Uh, so now, 
When this hits one, it hits this wall. Bam, one. There we go. Now it blinks. She blinks. And now I can easily slide between the two textures. Awesome. And now, basically, this is the basis of that giant shader that I showed you earlier. So you can see that this is switching between two textures, but not three. We want this. We want to put the fear into our character. So easy way to do that is just simply add another math node. So only difference between this math node and that math node is, uh, first of all, let's plug this in real quick, is that this math node is going to be set to 1.99. So 1.99, basically any value over 1.99, like I would say 2, will uh, make the character switch to, will make this uh, value 1. So uh, I hope I'm not overcomplicating things. I'm not the best at talking. YouTube was probably not the best choice, but whatever. I'm here now. We're here now. Let's do this. And I'll, I'll uh, oh crap, I can't go up to 2. Easy fix. Watch this, look at this, I'm going to blow your mind. So if we select this first little part right here, we select the factor, which is this top part, we could actually rename it to face control. Control. Yes, I know how to spell. And uh, we'll set the max to 2 now. There we go. Bam. We can go twice as high. We doubled the power of this node uh, group here. So now... When we go to zero or anything below one, it will be idle. Then we go to this blink, and then we can go to fear. So there we go. Now we have a three-way uh, texture switcher. And um, I'm going to easily show you how you guys can add as many textures as you want on top of this. You guys probably already got it by now, but this is just a, the way I would do it. So select these, select the bottom three nodes here. Just duplicate them, drag them down. And now you can make this into a different texture. And uh, I don't know what I want to make it yet, so I'll rename it in just a second. Eye uh, surprise, is that the same? I feel like that's really similar. Yeah, it's really similar. Let's let's choose something else. Uh, let's not get the mouth textures. Uh, don't I have like a blink left? Okay, so it's like a little wink. So I'm just going to call this one wink. Always make sure to click that little 2 so you're not editing old ones. I made that mistake earlier, which is why I bring it up. Because, you know, I'm not the smartest man in the world. As you can see here, because I forgot to deselect that. I just like having everything lined up. It just looks better. Okay, so now this was plugged in here. What we want to do is instead of plugging that in there, plug it into this top of this shader. Plug that into the surface. So every time you add a new texture, you want to make sure the bottom one is plugged into the surface. The one previous to that is plugged into the top socket of uh, this mix shader. Plug the uh, factor into the value. Increase this value by 1, so now it will be 2. And actually, what we can do, so let's say this was 1. I believe, if I know blunder enough, if I click plus 1, press enter. Yay! Okay, so that does work. So if you just click plus 1, you can do math in these little... Uh, you know, text boxes. So, super useful. I wish every pro program did that. I do that in like Photoshop occasionally. I get really sad when it doesn't work. So, now we need to increase this value to 3 just so you can go up higher. There we go. So now I can go up to 3. And now it's a winking character. Look at that. Wink. Look at that. How cool is that? So, that's pretty much everything. Well, this video is almost 15 minutes long. Ooh, I tried to be as quickly as possible. Eh, never mind. Whatever. Uh, don't mind me. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and thanks OXO Potion for providing this model and letting me, you know, use it for all kinds of stuff, including this uh, video here. Um, leave the link down in the description for the download for this model. Um, it's like a FBX, I believe, since so you can use it in like Unity and all that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.